All throughout the New Testament, we have a recurring theme that the world and everything in it is passing away. But we have been ransomed, those of us who have been chosen by God, who have been claimed for Christ, have the hope of eternal life, the hope of resurrection, and the blessedness that is yet to come. And so we're asked to look past worldly things, to look past the temporary things, even the great pleasures of life, and set our hearts and our minds on the things that are eternal, the things that truly last. This is not always easy for us, but we have many great helpers among the saints, and certainly the martyrs are a great witness to faith and to hope. They witness by the shedding of their blood and the giving of their lives the hope that they have in what God has promised, the hope for eternal reward, the hope for a crown of glory and victory that they will share with Christ if they lay down their lives. But they are not the only witnesses that we have. Consider the poor widow that we read about in the Gospel. She had only two small coins for her whole livelihood. These coins would not have amounted to much, but she took them and she put them in the treasury and so gave her whole self in that offering. It's a great witness of trust in God's providence, but also gratitude for the goodness of God. She indeed is a child of God in her faith. And we see the Lord Jesus commending her for that. What does this offer to us? Certainly, if our circumstances are lowly, we are called to place our hope and our trust in God and look to Him for our needs. But I think that there is more than that that we can take from this Gospel. Whatever our circumstances, we are called to use what we have for good, to place everything in the service of the Lord, to recognize that He is our provider, and show our gratitude, and respond to His generous love for us. Sometimes this means giving of some of what we have to those who are in need. But our lives are not always secure or sound. There comes a point in our lives, especially as we get older, when we must let go of our hopes and our dreams and our control over things, even our own bodies. This is never easy. We are right to call it a martyrdom of sorts. For we lay down our lives in the hope that the Lord will take them up again and make us whole and complete once more at the resurrection. But on the way, we go to the cross. We share in the cross of Christ, and we follow Him to what is not easy. And we do not know always how things will turn out, how we will be taken care of, who will accompany us on this journey. Will we have what we need? Will sickness later in life cause us great pain? We do not know the answers, but our Lord asks us to lay down our lives no matter what our circumstances and receive the blessings that He wishes to give us. We can only do that if our hands are empty, if we let go of our need for control and certainty, He will give us the consolation we need.